I got two boxes of batteries. Uh, this one was filled halfway, and that's uh, 50 pounds of assorted batteries. Uh, these should be four packs. And the main thing I've been going through is these defibrillators, or, or at least the battery packs to them. And it seems like they have to replace these every three years. I was able to open one up. And they're difficult to open up if you don't know how they open up. <laughs> Hopefully uh, the next one's going to be much easier. They're 14 volts. They got a nice little BMS. Alright, so what I see here is there are three batteries in parallel. Four in series. So this is a 4S 3P battery. Uh, these you have to be a bit more... Uh, violent with getting the tabs off i figure I, I found out you can just uh get some pliers and rip it off backwards i'm doing my uh the charge test all right so i have been going through another battery pack and what i've got here is all the cells that are above three volts and these are between one and two volts over here uh, they've sat on here for Quite a good number of hours they're in their discharge process right now and i can feel them heating up because it is one amp a couple more hours and these guys are still being tested um yeah so i have a big box of batteries piling up that need to be tested well, that's hilarious I just opened up this pack and there's a piece of metal on the end to give it the same weight, but it only has four batteries. They tricked me. It felt like six. All right, I'm finding some interesting technology in some of these battery packs. Uh, this appears to be a thermal cutoff switch. So if it gets too hot, this thing's gonna, uh, break the, the circuit. And then this one I found was interesting because of the little slits in between. And it looks like you would uh, weld on both sides of the slits to uh, make sure the current goes through the battery metal instead of uh, the quickest way, just through the, the, the metal itself or the tap itself to get to the other probe. So, quite interesting stuff here. 